Welcome back. Just gonna hop right in. So, let's see. I got a comment saying you shouldn't mean to press the up button when you're trying to enter the door. And then another comment as a reply saying you did it again. Like, what? Wait, so I shouldn't press up? Because when I play this game, I use the D-pad on the Joy-Cons to move. Because that's more what I'm used to. Because, you know, when you played this game on the Wii, you played only on the Wii remote. There was no... Uh, nunchuck. So there was no stick. You moved with the Wii remote on the side, and then you used the D-pad to move. So that's what I'm used to. So I don't, I don't do this. I'm using the analog stick right now. So like, if I push up on the analog stick, Kirby enters. Am I missing something? I don't understand what you mean by you shouldn't mean to press the up button when you're trying to enter the door. Because I need to press up to enter the door. Alright, I can't inhale that enemy. What am I doing? <coughs> Ugh, I am so bloated right now. I had a little too much to eat for dinner. Why did I do that? Why did I jump up? That was not a good time to do that. So let's see, today was a, it was an okay day, but it, it was soured by, you know, two particular things. One is, uh, you know, I have to consider going back to school soon. Obviously, I wasn't going to just uh, take the next six-ish months completely off, you know. For those who don't know the context... So I've graduated college for like over a year now. Yeah, it's... Jeez, how long has it been? Whatever, it's been over a year since I graduated college. But, even though I graduated college, I still have an exam to do in order to truly get my license. You know, just finishing school was getting my... Uh, my certificate or whatever that I finished school. It doesn't mean that, you know, I passed whatever I need to do in order to get licensed to do what I need to do. So, I have an exam to do after I graduated college. And, well, I already failed that exam two times. I need to retake it a third time, sometime in like May or June. And I'm only allowed three attempts. And what attempt is this? Number three. But until then, you know, until I retake it in, like, May or June, so mid-year, obviously there, I, I can't just, like, sit on my ass and not do anything for, like, five to six months. Even though oh, more than half of January is gone already, and I've what, what did I do those, those uh, two weeks? Sit on my ass and do nothing. So obviously I wasn't just gonna spend six months five to six months doing nothing, no matter how much I would like to. You know, being lazy is so easy, you don't do anything. That's the definition of lazy. <laughs> being lazy is so simple, you just sit, play video games, gain weight, and do nothing. As much as I would like to do that, you know, that's not how life is. That's not how life works. As much as I would love to be lazy and not really accomplish anything in life, but still manage to, like, have everything handed to me. That's just not how life works. So, earlier today, I really have to consider, like, 
what the next step is. Am I really going to take the next six months off and completely do nothing? Or am I going to actually do something with my life? Go back to school and take something else while waiting for the next exam date to come. And you know, it, it, it's a bit of a downer topic, you know, nobody wants to go back to school. You know, I like my freedom, I like sitting there doing nothing but playing video games and watching shows. You know, that's the easy life, but exactly what life is that? Not really much of anything. You know, I'm not going to accomplish anything. And yeah, as much as I don't want to go back to school, well, what what what's my other option, right? Oh, nice. So, right now I'm thinking about like when to start the next program, when to start school again. See, the thing is though, it's like it's not that much of a hassle, it's not that much work. Because the next thing I'm taking, it's all online. There's no uh, there's no lectures, there's no anything. All of it is online. Like all the PDFs and all the information I need is online. So I just read all the information I need myself. And then the exam is online as well. Ooh! I want a beam, but hey, I got sword. I'm not gonna complain. So yeah, so uh, from what I saw, the uh, the exam is split into three. Man, well, never mind. I needed sword, and I already got sword. You are useless to me. That is, if I don't lose my sword, I'm about to die. I take back calling you useless. I can do sword beam too. I take back what I said. You're not useless. I need you. I need you after you die so I can have my sword back. So, you know, now I just gotta think, when am I gonna start? Now, the obvious answer to that is the sooner the better, right? The sooner I start, the sooner I finish, and the sooner I can move on with my life. But like I said, I like my freedom, you know? I like not having to do anything, but, you know, how exactly... How, how long exactly can that last for? Wow, this guy just stopped right before he actually got a hit on me. What a stupid move that was. I swear to God, if you hit me, And all that for just a 1-up, because I already got all the energy spheres. I don't know, uh, part of me is hesitating because I just flat out don't trust myself when it comes to relying on myself. Because the first pro the first program I did in college, even then I couldn't trust myself. I wasn't trustworthy. I mean, back then all I really did was every week attend class, but that's about it. I never really did any of the homework. I never looked through any of the notes. I didn't really do anything, and yet somehow I passed. Somehow I graduated, even though let's face it, I truly did not deserve to.
You know, it's actually crazy. Looking back, I have no idea how I passed. I failed every quiz I had, basically every test I had. Well, I suppose, looking back, the reason I passed was because all the uh, assignments carried me. I may have failed all the tests, but the assignments, doing good on those. Actually, uh, didn't I need Ninja? I think I remember I need Ninja. But yeah, I just don't trust myself. Do I really trust myself to, uh, you know, every week read up on a PDF for like, say, an hour. An hour a day. Just glance over it. Just, just don't even put in an attempt to memorize it. Just read through it. And eventually it'll just stick in your mind. I don't even trust myself to do that. I just know that you give me freedom of being able to do it whenever I want, I'll never do it. What impeccable timing that was. Really? That didn't... that didn't light the fuse. So, that was the first reason why today was soured. You know, I, I really had to start thinking about, again, once again, begin thinking about when am I going to go back to school, study again. Oh my god! And, well, the second thing was, like, you know, just a couple of, like, brat customers I had. Man, calling them customers is an understatement, because they didn't do anything. They didn't really come in and browse or anything. They basically came in, like, it was three guys, but one of them mostly did the talking. And, you know, like a... Like a worker, like a salesperson, I step up and I... Greet them and I try to help them. Try to be like, hey, is there anything I can help you with today? Anything you're looking for today? So the, the they basically came in and asked for a specific... So they basically came in and asked for a specific brand. Asked if we carry that brand and I'm not going to say which brand it is. But no, we do not have that particular brand, that particular unnamed brand. And then, so he asked me, like, what other brands do you have? And I listed, like, all, like, some of the other brands we have. And then, and then he gave me the stare as I listed out some other brands we carry. It's like, are they real? Yes, sir, all of them are real. It's like, mm, I don't think so. Like, I gave him a stare. The moment he asked me, are they real, I stared at him as I told him, yes, all of them are real. And I just stared at him like, what do you expect me to say? Yes, they're real. Like, you can't see my face right now, but, uh, <laughs> You know that meme going on right now? What is that guy's name? I gotta look it up. There's a meme going around of some guy staring. God, I gotta look up his name. How sad is it I gotta look up his name? I saw a video of him talking about the meme, too, and that, now I don't even remember what his name is. Kurt Angle. There, that's his name. The, the Kurt Angle meme. 
That's basically the face I gave him. <laughs> so if you wanna if you wanna picture what face I gave this guy, he asked me, "Are they real?" I said, "Yes, sir, they're real." And then I gave him the Kurt Angle meme. I gave him that kind of stare, like, "Are they real?" Yeah, they're real. And then he just, you know, lightly shakes his head and is like, "No, no, I don't think so." And he just leaves. Now, you know, as much as I would like to instigate, as much as I would love to be petty and just, you know, school this guy, be like, 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 then why'd you even come in? If you didn't think they were real, why'd you even come in? Now get your ass out my store. Or I could have said something like, say I had the brand you were looking for, what makes you think all this stuff wouldn't be real if I did have that brand? But I, ch I, I, you know, I chose not to instigate. I chose not to, uh, you know, fuel the fire. And he was walking out anyways. I wasn't about to- Ooh, look at that! You don't often get this one. He was already walking out the store, so I wasn't about to call him back and be like, Hey! Come back here! Like, now why would you say that? Look at that, it's the, it's the Kirby car as well. I think that one might be a rare one too. If not, I certainly haven't paid attention enough to see if I've gotten it before. But yeah, I could have been like that. I could have been like, hey, get your ass back here. Say that again. You don't think they're real. It's like, well, now what makes you think they're not real? It's like, man, I could have instigated, but I chose not to. You know, he doesn't think they're real. It's like, okay, get the hell out my store. You know, when you have to... Uh, how do I even say this? I mean, it's... In, in this day and age, you can't be too sure, right? A lot of things can be fake. Like, it's very easy to fake something, as long as you know what to look for or whatever. Sword, or BM. Uh, I think for once, I'm actually gonna take BM, just because, you know... It's more long range. I think especially when it comes to super bonkers, that was that was the good choice. And you know, when people come into my store and ask, are they real or not? Like, are the brands and products we sell real, or are they like fake knockoffs? Obviously, we do real. We do real. If other people in the mall sell fake, well, that's not my problem. All I know is us, we do them real. And well, if you don't believe me, why are you even here? Get the hell out of my store. Stop wasting my time. Like, what do you want me to do? To What do you want me to do if you're already convinced that what I sell aren't authentic and real? What, what do you want me to do about it? Get the hell out. You know, when I, when I say that... Even, obviously, I don't say that to actual customers and clients, but right now, hypothetically, what I wish I could say... When I say that, I, I sound like, like, you know, those chefs you watch on Kitchen Nightmares. Like, if you don't like the food, get the hell out. I only, I only cook for people who like my cooking. It's like... That's what pops into my head whenever I say, get the hell out, if you don't think what I sell is real. But it's like, you know, that's, that's different also, you know? You don't need me to compare the restaurant industry to what I do for work. And you know, while we're on the topic, 
Why not talk about that too? I've been told by many people that I should like go into culinary to go to like culinary school, work in a restaurant. All because like I have an interest in cooking. I cook dinner at home, I cook whatever, it's like No, that doesn't exactly mean I want to make a living out of it. Matter of fact, the opposite. I don't want to work in a restaurant. Even just, you know, watching watching things online, I already have an idea just how hard working in a restaurant is. I can only imagine how truly hard it is actually working in one. And I don't think I want that in my life. No thanks. See, I learned in high school, of all places, that cooking for others just ain't for me. You know, I took a class where we learned about, like, food stuff, food health, food safety, that kind of stuff. And then, later on, we would have classes where we actually cook the meals for the teacher to try. We would, get, we would be given a recipe, given all the ingredients, and we have to prepare the whole thing within the class period time, which was, I think... Um, I, I think back then, like, one period of class for my high school was an hour and 15 minutes, so 75 minutes. So in 75 minutes, we had the entire meal to cook. Now, honestly, that's not that bad. But when you're working with limited recipe, well, not recipes, limited ingredients with no rooms for hiccups, and then you're working with other students, where, you know, it's like, did that person do that part right? Did this get done properly? It's like, well, it gets stressful. Me, I'd rather cook by myself and not in a time limit. You know, if I'm cooking dinner for my family, like a big feast, or if I'm having guests over. Oh my god. If I'm good, if I'm cooking for guests coming over, I'd rather like spend the entire day cooking, take my time, you know, I handle it, or at least me and my mom do. We handle it, we make sure everything is right, we know what we're doing. But when you're working with others, it's like, well, it's like, did that person do it right? Did that person get, get it done yet when I need it done? And also I have a time limit, right? In the restaurant industry, it's like, well, if you take too long to cook up a dish, the customer will... Oh my god! The customer will get antsy. And if you take too long, the customer will walk out. It's like, yeah, I don't want that. I, I do not want that. I, I don't want to work in a restaurant. I don't want the time, limit, pressure to cook for others. And also, like, uh, I don't want to sound like a perfectionist, but I just want to make sure that it's it's done right. So, you know, I make sure every step of the way that it's cooked properly. Like, it's well seasoned, it's cooked properly, it's like not overdone, whatever. So I do not want to work in a restaurant. Just because I have an interest in cooking at home doesn't mean I necessarily want to go into culinary school and learn how to, you know, work in the restaurant business. What did I even inhale just now? nerve-wracking carrying this in. You know what? Forget that.
Oh boy, we got ice physics. You know, for the first time ever, I, I think it was, if not yesterday, then the day before. For the first time ever, I actually felt the ice physics of real life while driving. And the scary part was, I was driving my mom's car. See, what happens on a day-to-day -day basis? Did that Sphere Joomer just damage itself with its own electric attack? So what happens on a day-to-day -day basis is that... Uh... So... So both my parents have a car. And then my sister and I, we share a car. I usually leave for work with my mom in my mom's car. And then later on in the day, my sister shows up because she's very lazy. So she shows up late. And also because she's sick. She's been sick for a little while now. Yes! So I had to take my mom's car out, like while at work, I had to take my mom's car out to deliver something. And then, you know, doing a left turn, the back of the, the, the back two wheels just kept on turning, kept on sliding. And thankfully I didn't damage my mom's car. Ooh, she would have been pissed had I damaged her car. You know, it has been chilling cold the past few days. I think today was as low as minus 10 degrees Celsius outside. I think it was even lower than that. You know, we had a pretty gray and dry Christmas with no snow. And while it's still kind of lacking in snow now, outside, I tell you what, we're, what we're not lacking is the cold temperature. And, uh, yeah, I prefer the cold. Yo, yo, man, what's up? I prefer the cold, but it's like, you know, it, it's too much of a good thing. It's too cold. Oh, I needed spear for underwater. Whoops. Yes, sir. I bought 10 of those packs and wasted more money on cardboard. And best of all, you ain't sleeving any of them. You're goddamn right. You know, while we're, I guess, on a similar topic, it's not exactly relating to Has Been Hotel, but, you know, we're, we're on the topic of hell, you know, the place I'm going when I die. 
Am I working Friday? Yes. Unless I hear otherwise, and don't and don't remember to tell you. So earlier today, I saw a, a, a trailer for like a new Netflix movie. Well, actually, I think I saw two. I think the first one I watched was Spaceman with Adam Sandler. And, uh, well, it it's completely threw me off to see Adam Sandler in such a serious role. I normally know him for more comedic roles. Ahem, <laughs> grown-ups. <clears throat> Pixels. Which I do like. I'm like one of the only people on this planet who actually likes that film. Oh, come on. The stinking ice physics. You know how the Pixels movie parodied Billy Mitchell? We all know how Billy Mitchell is in the news these days. How there was nothing found, uh, like no cheating found. What was the other movie trailer I saw? I'm trying to remember what the name of the film was. Hold on, let me look it up. <clears throat> God, why, why can't I find it? I literally watched it today. It's 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 Players. That's the name of the film. The Netflix trailer Players. The only reason I even watched the trailer was because Tom Ellis was in it. You know, Lucifer himself. And, well, in the trailer, Tom Ellis also dressed up in a suit, spoke the way he usually does with his British accent, and it just looked like Lucifer to me. It looked exactly just like Lucifer to me. He, he's, just, he's just playing Lucifer again. And then I saw, like, recommended a clip from, like, Michael Rosenbaum's podcast, Inside of You. I think that's the name of it. Like, talking about, talking with Tom Ellis about Lucifer, and then how it got cancelled, and then how it got revived. Tom Ellis talking about he was gutted when he found out Lucifer was cancelled. And then he heard that, you know, uh, he heard that, well, before that, uh, before Fox was going to announce that the show was going to be cancelled, or had been officially cancelled, he tweeted, he tweeted that it was cancelled, and he was gutted to know it was cancelled. Before it could officially be announced. Michael Rosenbaum just asked, like, were they pissed off because of that? And he's just like, I don't fucking care. And like, you know, why would he care? You, you just cancelled the man's show. Ugh. 
That's gonna respawn. Just watch. Oh, you don't get angry about this, huh? Nice. Not what I meant to do. I meant to hold on to it. Then again, why did I even push B? B is to throw it. So why did I even push B there? Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I gotta really drop this dump! Oh, I can't hold it in anymore! Nope, I need that water. I said I need that water. Speaking of water, hold on. Drink more water, folks, it's good for you. Well, I didn't know this one was on a timer. even pick that up if it didn't that was gas moving inside of me and like trying to come up for a burp but it just all it did was come up but it didn't come out I don't even know if the mic picked up those sounds Oh, it's this one. Just want to make sure I don't miss anything, so just going to note nice and slow, except for here. Oi! Fine, I'll take Spark instead. You can't touch this. Man, all of the... I was about to say all of those are going to waste. But look at, look at what really got wasted. Me! I'd rather take this over that red star. Unless it's still there. Nope, it's long gone. <sighs> well, at least tomorrow I get a day off from work, but I do gotta wake up extra early still because my sister uh, booked an appointment to go bring her dogs to the groomers. Hey, why aren't you falling?
So, I need to wake up and help her bring our dogs to the groomers. Because, you know, two, two heavy fat dogs. And because she's just a, 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 a frail little girl. <laughs> My sister really doesn't really have any, you know, meat on her bones. She's really, really is, like, way too skinny. You know, I've talked about her. I've talked to her about that before. How she, how, uh, how I'm afraid she's a little bit too skinny to get pregnant. But if she wants to get pregnant sooner, then she needs to put some weight on. But she refuses to listen. Anyway, so yeah, I gotta wake up early tomorrow to help her. Because, you know, last time she did it herself, she like sprained her back. Trying to carry the dogs into the car. So this time, probably and probably moving forward, I gotta wake up and go with her at like 7 in the morning. <gasps> That's what I get for not paying attention and just talking too much. <clears throat> That was a that was not the right move. You know my uh, my my dad and my sister are exactly the same. You can tell that my sister takes after my dad more, and I take after my mom more. You know my dad and my sister are two pretty uh, skinny people who both don't really eat that much. Even when you give them food, they still just don't eat it. They will basically eat for the bare minimum to survive. And, well, that's my father and sister. But when it comes to my mom and I, oh, we are gluttonous. Why do you think I'm so fat? You put something in front of me, as long as I like it, I will eat it. <laughs> Okay, let's hurry up. Hurry this time. Fuck! Why am I having such a hard time doing this one now? Look at that face. Look at that face. Nice. Nice. I'm doing fantastic right now. Spectacularly. Spectacular Spider-Man. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, I thought I could get it in time. Alright, moment of truth. And, you know, surprisingly, the best part right now is, I think, at least, if I fail this, look at my health. I could just take one hit of damage and then I could die and hopefully try this again. I hope. I kind of feel like water is slowing me down. That's not what I meant! I wanted to die after if I failed, not before. Not before I even had a chance. Okay, let's try without water. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! I did not time that right, but it still worked out. Not entirely, but okay. Ooh, two bows. Oh, I couldn't get the strike because I, I was a dummy and timed it wrong. I only got a spare, which is one. Definitely want this. No time, just go. there somehow last time. Ooh, don't go too fast now or else you will get crushed.
Again, it's that dessert that really makes me think it, it's mango-flavored every time I look at it, but no, it's anything but that. <clears throat> I need to pour myself more water! Oh, what? Oh, I didn't know what... I didn't know I was on a timer for that. The game said, you taking too long. I'm not going to wait for your ass no more. Oh, it's this one. This one with the layout of like a Mario Mario Bros ghost house. Oh, right, wasn't I dying here a whole bunch before? so interesting how the Kirby anime made cappies into like peaceful villagers oh shit you know the question is which came first cappies in the games wearing a mushroom hat for some reason or cappies in the anime I'm actually not too sure which one came first Because in the anime, there was really nothing relating to, or, or cappies relating to mushrooms. Unless I'm, forget, unless I'm forgetting something. Why was I having such a hard time doing this before? All right, because the first time I didn't bring this in. Is there anything hidden in here? Nope. 
Right, I didn't bring the cannon in. So then I had to go all the way back, get in, then make it make my way back here. That's why I kept on dying last time. <sighs> should I have gotten fire? I should have gotten fire. Do I up? Oh. Mecha works. Makes me wonder what happens. What what would have happened in the original game when Mecha wasn't yet invented? In the original game, there was no Mecha Kirby. So like, did you just did you just lose out on this chance if you didn't bring fire in beforehand? All that, and your helmet still isn't off. I think I gotta go this way this time. Yep. Now run for your life! Yeah, I was about to ask, wasn't there ice physics in here? Yeah, this was that. This is the level I'm thinking of. <clears throat> Nothing like an ominous, shadowy snowman. Isn't there a horror movie about that? Like a killer snowman? Pretty sure there is. But has there ever been a movie about a cursed snowman? Where you get a cinematic shot like, like, uh, where, where is it? Like that. You just see a shadowy snowman. Like a snowman in the shadows. Creeping up and staring at you. Is there a movie like that? I mean, hell, if you want a cursed snowman movie, go ahead and watch the original, like, live-action Frosty the Snowman movie! And how cursed it looks in live-action. But aside from the way it looks, it's, you know, pretty wholesome film. And then you guys remember the animated Frosty the Snowman movie? Where... I, I forget the characters' names. It's been so long since I last watched it, but I remember, what I remember in that film was how prominent that freaking clipboard was. That clipboard meant more than dear life. It's like, now, the clipboard. It's like there's so much emphasis on that clipboard. It's like that clipboard, oh my god. It's like that clipboard was... A, uh, status of authority. As if I couldn't just go and pick up a clipboard at the dollar store.
Man, I remember clipboards were always so hard to work with. Like, it's just not that... It's just, it's just not that practical compared to, like, writing on a desk. Because I remember back in school, like, back in, like, elementary school, we would do, I don't know, like, group readings or whatever, and then we would take notes on a clipboard. Like, the teacher would actually provide us with clipboards, and then we would work together, and then we'd take notes on the clipboard. It's surprisingly, like, not that easy to write on a clipboard, especially when you're, like, sitting on the ground, cross-legged. It's much easier to write if you're sitting at a table. Now, let me see. What am I supposed to do again? I think... Like, was I supposed to do that? No. What was I supposed to do again? They give you ice for a reason. Am I supposed to ice block? No? That's more to... Well, it's in the name. To block with ice. Uh, that's not it. <clears throat> they give me ice for a reason. Oh! 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 Why am I overcomplicating this? I, I I was thinking I had to get over there and protect myself with ice. Why was I why was I such a why was I brain farting there on what I needed to do? It's not like I haven't done that puzzle before. Oh, there goes my candle. <clears throat> I think, I think what I usually do there is I just tank the hits. I just walk up there and I just tank the hits. But I can't do that this time. Or at least I rather really shouldn't. <sighs> you know, this is not the place to be grinding because of this these stinking ice physics? No, you know what? I won't even get that. Because it's not even worth me getting those. It's not me... Oh, God! It's not worth me risking my life to get those. When, you know. Yeah, you know. You know what I'm trying to say. Oh, shit. You know, forget the candle. Just get out of here. Now that's more like it. All that and cake! Ooh, and I get all the uh, festivals I want, huh? Or if you're just gonna respawn the enemies and give me endless festival, I may as well. I mean, there's a blue star over there, so it's worth me going over and getting it. Hell, if I wanted to, I could just stay here and grind for lies by grinding for these. But that's not practical.
<clears throat> oh, look at how many stars I have right now. Nice. It's not nice anymore, but it was. It was for a brief moment. Well, we know who awaits us there. Ugh, I'm tired of all this ice physics. Just get me out of here. Jump over here, jump over here, or not. Your spiky balls made of ice aren't gonna hit me like that. Alright, good start. Go up, go up, go up. Damn it. Not what I wanted to do. I wanted to turn around and, uh... Well, I was gonna say blow him, but pause on that. I was thinking blow fire his way. Oh boy, he's doing this move again. Don't be throwing spirit bombs my way. Oh my god, you saw you see how much health I have? I was so afraid that I was going to go the entire first phase not taking damage and then I still end up losing. That is not a good omen for the true arena, let me tell you that.
Yep, you did it, Kirby. All these lies you keep on feeding me. Empty praise. Alright, nutty November, I mean noon. Ah, we're book into- we're book? We're back into cookie country, we're book. I said we're book into. We're book into cookie country, yep, that sounds right. I don't see any problems with that. I don't know why you do. <clears throat> God, I do not really like Parasol Kirby. Really? Of all enemies, I could have gotten hit. Bye. Uh. Oh! Well. No, that ticket. I want that ticket. I'm guessing I I need whip for this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, indeed. So you would like the four-piece chicken McNugget meal with the toy? Correct, madam. I would rather go without whip. Well, my attempt to get wing just now ended with absolute failure. Up! Uh. No, actually, can I... Can I go back in and reclaim that one-up I just stupidly lost? Yeah. How about this time, you- How about this time, you fucking give me wing, was what I was trying to say earlier.
the hell? Well, the move I was trying to use wasn't working because, frankly, I'm not putting in the correct input. I thought maybe I could get one of those. <clears throat> well, they're kind of hinting at me taking Cutter. Anything up here? Yep. Get the hell out of my way. Oh, nice. Can I go back and get sword? Ah, uh, you know what? It's too far away. It's not worth it. You know, we haven't really seen me use Leaf Kirby. Because frankly, I don't really like it. I didn't miss anything, did I? I knew it. Even if it was just a sandwich, in this game mode, all food is welcome. And now that food was just wasted. Ah, the sun, the, the, the smash subspace emissary sunlight indicating the level's almost over.
Ugh. I don't think I need a ninja for anything. That was worth it. That was not! <clears throat> Ooh, that hiccup came out of nowhere. Not gonna lie, I kind of forgot Scarfies explode afterwards. Well, obviously the red ones, the, the pinker ones explode, but like, I forgot those ones will do that. I was hoping I could like slice through the ground. These big ass scarfies really on my ass today. What was that? Well, I guess I'll take bomb now. Well, that may have hit me, but at least it didn't take damage. God, that was one long loading screen. No, don't. 
Haha, y'all can't get me now. But I can still get you. This one? Nope. Oh, look at that Scarfy! Was really determined to get me! Oh, I think I remember what puzzle's coming up. Whoa! I didn't know it would knock him that far back. Okay, open. Open. And do not close. I don't think I have enough time to do that. I don't know, I'm just playing around right now. See flare beam coming up. Kirby's wand looks like what Camilla had in Mario Galaxy that housed the Power Star. Sort of got nobody knows what I'm talking about. Oh, really? Just to get rid of that Scarfy. I got no idea what just happened there. Ooh, I 
just had a sharp pain in my chest. I didn't even notice my health was that bad. Up! Oh, it's already messed. It's it's already done for. Cause I missed this one. May as well start over. Oh, oh, I missed one. I missed the middle one. Yeah, there's no way I'm not dying trying this. Well, I would have hoped to die in a less stupid way. <sighs> Damn, I tried to make it in one shot, in one go. Fall through the middle now. Wow, no tricks for the last one. Stone's not really useful, but I'm better with stone than I am parasol. And especially this moving platform isn't helping. Whoa! I didn't know that would do that much damage. Uh-oh. the most as I was one hit away from beating that Sphere Doomer. No. I will definitely be taking stone. I mean, I suppose it makes sense, you know, flying types are weak against rock types. Now, give me my rock! Oh, shit! Okay, I still got it.
Alright, let's see. Mm. Awful. Dad, I don't want to go to bed. Oh! Well, I was kind of thinking Kirby would be facing the other direction, but it's fine. Late night, you're not really giving me any opportunities here. May as well. I get one of these two, I get the one up. Gonna wait for the platform to get closer again. Oh god. No! Okay, does it respawn? Tell me it respawns. It does not. Because it wasn't fully used up. Didn't I need it up here for something? Indeed I did. It's just a ticket, but I'll still go for it. Are you serious? It really fell all the way down here, and it stayed down here. Tell me it respawns. All the cannons respawn. Can oh my fucking god. What a disaster that was. I made that out to look easier than it actually is. Oh boy. 
Better run. Wait, no. Okay, let's do this. Oh! Okay, it's fine. Because, you know, what if one of them dropped food? <clears throat> oh, come on! Fuck you! And I'm dead. <sighs> that half health, I'm telling you, it affects more than you would know, or more than you would expect. No! I'm killing this thing. Well, I can take a guess what I need. Ha! Don't mess this up for me, Kaboo! I think this one was the stage with the final energy sphere in the clouds. Ooh, actually. Oh, I tried to get all three! Not again!
Yeah, this one right here. Piss off, you! Wow! Okay. What the hell? Thankfully they were nice enough to put an entire floor of Gordos instead of spacing them out. Simple enough. I think I said that last time, too. store for us fire or or ice I pick beam <clears throat> it's always super bonkers
and jump right into it. Okay, I tested it out. I was wondering if it's left stick or right stick. It's left stick. Man, that still didn't count! Oop. Fuck you! Oh no, the donut up there! Gotta really use that right now. Ah. Hey, I jiggled the stick. Pause. Um... <coughs> About to ring that bell, right? Two of those Waddle Dees survived. No. Uh, crap. Clearly that was not how that was supposed to play out. Why did I just stand there? Uh oh, I'm probably want to run for this one. Really? I'm amazed that even counts as hitting me.
I was hoping the platform would pull me far enough to not take that damage. Shiny Burmy failed. No, I'm kidding. I'm only kidding now, but once upon a time, I wasn't kidding. See, the best I'm doing is two. Why am I so terrible at this now? Once again, believe it or not, when I played this on the Wii, I used to be a master at getting the first the first spot there. But now I suck. We all know what this one is. Gonna do regular first. I think this time I'll go with Bomb. Pretty sure this music was different from before. Because you can hear this is a different version of DDD's theme. Still awesome nonetheless. Which version of DDD's theme is this? I'm actually not too sure which specific version of the song this is. Why did I just walk underneath that? There's nothing else hidden in this. They don't even really give you healing items either, do they? And I'm not too sure if I get a checkpoint.
Man, how can I talk over this music? Do I want water or do I want... I think actually I prefer water since it's more long range. Oh shit. Just get me out of here. I had a feeling it'd be you. Get me away from your corpse, because I could have died if you landed on me. And all I get for all my efforts is a sandwich. Ugh. It looked so much better before the boss door showed up. Alright, now let's try the harder path. Because why not? May as well, right? Well, looks like that's all the health I'm getting. An even tighter space for me to work with. Whoa! And this time, I actually won't be taking y'all power-ups. So I can save my spark. Eh, oh shit. I mean... Oh, I thought I could leave like that. Never mind. But only for that one can I do that. King do? Yep. Fuck! <sighs> well, my only option is Frickin' fighting, which I'm awful with.
they know this is the most annoying mini boss. That's why this is the mini boss that shows up in both versions. No shit, I'm about to die. Ugh. Alright, now I gotta fight both again. Starting with fighting! Or fighter. <clears throat> Have I been calling it Fighting Kirby? God! I can't heal. They don't give me healing items. You know what? I'm not even gonna... Go in. Actually, hold on. Nope, they don't let me. I was gonna be like, can I get one free shot? Nope. <clears throat> oh, of course, I had to miss both of them. And not only that, take damage in the process. Okay, okay, I, I was done for anyways. I thought you were going to do a charging move. But now I only got this much health to deal with... You! And I'm at quite a disadvantage, because this guy floats! I'm not about to lose all my lives doing this, because this ain't worth it. This, is, this, this run is just for fun. Which is totally what I'm having right now. I'm totally having fun doing this. Nope. I thought you were going to do the charge attack at me. You are going to run into me. I thought that's what you were going to do. <sighs> that, that, that little, uh... That little recoil, or that little bounce back. Oh, oh. Man, look at my goddamn health. They really had to give me fighter of all power-ups to use here. I have half of my already half health.
Look at how little damage I'm doing too, by the way. Oh, come on! <sighs> really wasting all my lives here. If I get down to 30 lives, I'm done. Because, you know, we still have quite a bit of game left. And given my track record, I'm going to need those lives. Well, you said try f uh, keeping fighters, so I'll try that. Why did I just stand there? Unbelievable. It's a freaking bounce back! Wow!
See, this boss is the most annoying because it freaking floats. I can't hit it. Okay, you know what? I, was, I said I was going to go to 30 lives. I, I give up. I quit. Nope. Well, let's do a boss that I can actually win against. But first, I'm gonna do what I did before and grab Spark. Because EX Grand Doomer? Ooh, you can bet I definitely need that. I will take none of those. <laughs> All right, we win. Ooh, definitely want to get ah oh, I was gonna say definitely want to get rid of that I thought it was going to do the the underground move. Wow. Come on, come on, come on. Oh shit. No, no, no. Oh fuck. You know what that means? I get no spark. All right, let's head back to the lore just to get Spark and then come back. If you think I'm doing that fight without Spark, you crazy. Do the fight with Beam? Hell no. 
Because unlike Beam... Unlike Beam, I don't get the, you know, the permanent shield like this. That's the move I thought you were going to use earlier. I don't think I can even cause damage there. Oh crap. I can't shield that, so I have to jump up and avoid that one. Ooh! Don't stand over that. Okay, we made it here with lots of life left. Gimme, gimme, gimme! And of course, the Gordo's unaffected even by that. Well, there's many reasons why I like Sword Kirby. Ugh. <laughs> 
<laughs> game! True. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! You did it, Kirby, as if we didn't read this before. The lore is back in business. Oars, wings, emblem, mast. Oh, really? I'm your hero. Really? Well, even if Kirby did pack snacks, he would have eaten it all before he even sets foot onto the ship. Kirby, that dragon! Its name is Landorus, I mean Landia! Uh huh, uh huh, I wonder why it went on a rampage. Rampage? Where's Dwayne Johnson? Alright, that's as far as we're going to play for today. So, next time, same as before, we'll tackle egg engines. But before, but before I end, I just want to give that boss stage one last attempt. But this time, start with full health and spark again. Just one last attempt. If not, then fuck it. Jeez, how did I do it before? One last attempt. I 
I swear to God, you better not chip any of my damage off. Fuck! Me taking even any damage this early is not a good sign. <sighs> that is not a good sign in the slightest. You knuckle Joe. Well, at least now I get the checkpoint. <clears throat> Who's the next two? How did that not hit me? At all? Pretty sure... Wait, I, I don't even know if I have more bosses after this. I think I might. I think next I still have like Bonkers or, or uh, Moundo. I think I gotta deal with both. Yeah, because that only would have been the third energy sphere, so I still got one more set of bosses. I should have kept Spark, but it's fine. As long as I got that sweet, sweet checkpoint. Oh yeah, Spark would have been really nice right now, especially dealing with these two. It's okay, it's okay, I got the checkpoint. <clears throat>
Ooh, two one-ups. Wow, that really makes up for, like, the dozen one-ups I lost earlier, doesn't it? Alright, done! And that's where I end for today. I end on a four note. Wait, how did I... Oh, right, here. I was thinking, how do I get there again? Okay, I'm gonna end this for tonight. Next time, we'll start on Egg Engine. So, see you next time.